Weekly Log, January 17th, 2071. Approximately over 18,250 days started the pandemic. I write to this log as a notice of warning, review, and progress. Availability of resources has run low, but not to the point of concern. Those resources include metal parts, food, and masks. Electricity and water are stable. The virus still continues to linger and kill anyone once infected. However, luckily, no infections or deaths occur within the nearby area in recent records. To think that back then, we thought we would be rid of the virus. We thought that it would fade away in just a short period of time. It seems as if it will never end, and we will live like this forevermore. Until now. Access granted. So, you've got the stuff? Put these with the other resources. We need as many of them as we can. All right, you're free to go to the safe room. All right. Shop. Our building's coming along. It would have gone better if you found me more parts. Well, I pretty much searched close to all the areas that are nearby our location. We'll try and look further. The chief has been bugging me nonstop to make more weapons, and I can't do anything about this unless you bring me the materials I need. Well, dude, I didn't know. There's basically no other place to go at this point. But look here, dude. Just because I'm working on these fucking weapons doesn't mean I have to listen to the damn chief. He gave me this thing, and my fucking fingers don't even fucking fit in this damn thing. Well, I can't help you with that. I'm trying my hardest to find whatever I can find, and I still don't get appreciation around this goddamn place. Hey, but think about this, though. Since you and me are always in here, we always talk to each other. I give you appreciation. I give you the weapons to go out there to survive. You come back here and give me the parts to make them. You and me, we're good friends. If the chief fucks up... You take over. Fair enough. Anyway, what's the status report looking like for so far? Status reports are looking good. There's one problem. What's that? The virus. I don't know what the hell's going on. I have no idea why the virus is spreading. At this point, we're gonna have to live with it. Live with it? What do you mean live with it? The entire freaking thing's going down. I don't know what the hell's going on out there. I'm getting tired of it too, buddy, but... It's just that... I don't know anymore. We're losing too many people to a virus that we can't even see, stop, or even get rid of. What happens if this thing gets into our safe house? What then? Dude. I really don't know anymore. Let me let me call out Jacob, see where he's at right now. Jacob, do you copy? D Jacob, do you copy? Ah, son of a bitch never answers the goddamn walkie-talkie. What do you expect from Jacob? He never answers the freaking walkie-talkie. Even when I do it, that fucking part I wanted, it was in a scrapyard. Big fucking scrapyard. I saw a shiny metal part that I wanted. What happened? Told Jacob on a walkie-talkie, like, hey, can you get me that spare part that I wanted for a weapon he wanted? 
a little bit of a freaking assault rifle type weapon. Guess what happens next day? I find him in the in our safe house eating a freaking sandwich. Don't know where he got the sandwich? Ask him about the spare part. Never freaking looked at me and told me about the part. Typical. Yeah, I figured you would like that. No oh, shit, it looks like it's getting dark. Mm -hmm. Alright, you go ahead and finish up with the weapons as much as you can. I'll see what I can do with the contacts right now. Alright. Between you and me, dude. with you and the electricity. Hey, you want to play some cards with us? No, not really. What about now? Alright, I'm in. So, I heard you two had a um, good chat? Mm, better than most days, anyway. I see. Well, I kind of overheard your conversation, and the one thing that I remember is that running loan resources. Am I correct? Very. I see. Where are you going, Chief? I'm going to find an area where we can find some resources. 
Oh. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, might as well get back to make, well, you know, trying to make more weapons in the forging room. Yeah, might as well uh, wait for Kane's word in the waiting room. But I think I might have to change the shirt as well. What the? Shut up, When the hell did you get here? I just got your note. Well, I got here at like 2.30 and um, I started work at 2.50 and so I just decided, you know, I knew you were going to be sleeping, so I decided to get some work done. Well, I appreciate that, dude, but why? So I obviously spend some time with my brother. It's never like we get to spend any more time together anymore. So now you decide to show up. Now, after five years! Of you not showing up and not putting any effort into seeing me whatsoever, you now decide to show up. <sighs> Christ, it's like you never take shit seriously anymore, especially in a time like this. Do you not remember what happened on this day exactly five years ago? The reason why we're in this situation in the first place? Do you not think I know that? Do you not think I remember? Our parents abandoned us because of our brother? They did not leave us behind. They wanted to keep us safe. Then why haven't they come back? I don't have time for this. I'll talk to me when you cool down. Tyler, do you copy? Copy. What do you want? Found you a new area for you to check out. Sending you the location coordinates right now. On my way. Damn, was I kidding? He really hit the jackpot this time. All right. Then that should be good for now. What the? What in the? A hard drive? How did I miss this? I haven't seen one like this in ages. Why would he be here? Well, could be useful, I guess. Might as well. Alright. Let's go. You better have got me some thing. Whoa, that's a lot of good stuff, man. You may not know it, but you saved me hundreds of hours on this shit. Not only that. I found this. A hard drive? In a scrapyard? Does it even work? I don't know. But I know a person who knows. Hey, Kane! Yeah, what's up? I found this in the scrapyard not that too long ago. I don't know how the hell he found this, but we don't know if it works. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, God, I hope there's not a virus in it. Oh, gosh. I hope this is not a scan. Alright. Oh, there's a video in here. Alright, what's in it? This thing on? There we go. To anyone who's getting this message, I have found the cure. My current location is being raided right now, and I don't know how much time I have left, but I do have enough time to give us the semi-specifics. The location of the cure is right now hidden in a playground abandoned in Northern Torrance. To get to said cure, you first have to go through a long hallway in front of the playground. Once you make your way through said hallway, you're going to find a bunch of trees and bushes. Look very hard through those bushes and you'll find this USB stick with the cure on how to cure the virus. Is this guy legit? Does he even seem legit? Oh shit, they're here.
You know, I've seen SOS messages before, but I've never seen this. I know. But is this even a legit SOS message? Well, um, it wouldn't be a problem if we searched for the USB, would it? Well, I guess we have no other choice. Well, I guess I'll search for the coordinates. Oh, wait. Before you do anything else, you might want to check the news first. Oh, right. I forgot. That's an option. Where's the radio at? Right over here. All right. Here we are. Jeez, you get this from the 1980s? What is this crap? Hey, at least it still works. I keep things nice and tidy. All right. Whatever you say. All right. Well, at least I hope it works. All right. Turn up volume. Uh, 165 news. All right, and let's see. Good evening, and welcome to your 12 o'clock news on 165 radio station. I'm your host, Jerry Sampson. For today's newscast, we have reports that our semi-monthly surveillance routine is about to begin in the next 24 hours. Gosh. The surveillance patrol officers are in process of preparing for their five to seven hour surveillance shifts. With this new information, we will now cut to our very own reporter, Daniel Gallinger, who is live on the scene. He is currently stationed near a safe house in Torrance. Daniel, how are things going over there? Well, Jerry, while I was stationed here, I did some investigation and questioned some of the former residents of this area before the patrol officers began their routines. To sum it all up, they say that they're all used to this by now, but they still don't feel comfortable about the patrols. Well, that's all I have to report for now. Over to you, Jerry. Thanks, Daniel. And I do have to admit, no one likes to be a part of those patrol routes. Anyway, in related news, we have gathered information that the nightly curfew will be changed. This is due to an increased number of quarantine zones around the city. Now for the daily... God damn it, I completely forgot about the surveillance. Well, I guess we'll wait tomorrow for the coordinates. Why are they even stationed out there? Like, who in their right mind would go outside without a mask on? Oh, what do you think be going on here? You know, I walked by Kane, and he didn't even seem to respond to me. Well, let's just say that things are not just going out as planned. Where the heck did you get the burrito from? I don't know. I, I have no idea how the heck you're finding all this food, but uh, I want you to check this out real quick. Hey, wait a second. What, what's up? I think I know this guy. Do you? What was his name, though? Something into it. Yeah, I know. It was like, Gail? That doesn't sound right. Maybe it was Guppy? No, that's not right. Oh! Of course. It's Gary. Gary Endo. How do you know this guy? You don't know who this is? No. He's a famous scientist, you idiot. Anyway, what, what was on this tape? Well... It uh, seems to be a rescue tape about uh, the cure for the virus. Did he give any clues where it could be? Yeah, in fact, he said that it was in the northern Torrance area from, with the... What was it? Oh, yeah, it was uh, the, the small park that's nearby us. Why don't we go right now? Unfortunately, because of the surveillance and the patrol and the curfew, we can't do anything now at that point. Wait, I remember something. What is it? When I was when I was doing work once, I didn't. I was up on the roof, you know. Yeah. So I was fixing it, you know, doing all this electrical stuff, and and doing my job as normal, you know, eating food too. Yeah. I always do. Mm -hmm. Um, but oh well, yeah, it was a really good burger. But anyway, anyway. Continue me, on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But um, basically, I I saw Northern Torrance, right? Mm -hmm. And it's dark out. And there's no surveillance. So, this is not just a one-time occurrence. Every time I was up there, at night, past curfew. Shh, don't tell anyone. But yeah, I was up there past curfew, fixing it like I'm not supposed to. But, did anyway. Um, and I saw no surveillance. You're pulling so, my yeah. leg, are you? You're actually pulling my leg. <laughs> no, I'm not, dude. Well, call the chief. Tell him I'm working overtime. All right.
Go left. All right, where now? Go right and keep going straight. You are getting really close. Got it. Dude, Kane, you told me to keep going straight. I don't see it. Look ahead. I'll be damned. Here we go, dude. Hope I don't get caught. Nah, don't worry about it, dude. You should be fine. Yeah. Sure, I should be fine. Alright. Wish me luck. Alright. He should figure it out from there. Hey, Kane, what's up? Where did you get that pizza from? Oh, this? A lucky break, you might say. You know, I'm not even gonna question it. Um, but uh, Tyler uh, is getting the cure right now, and he's in Northern Torrance, so we should be good. Wait, Nor Northern Torrance? No, that, that's Southern Torrance. It literally says it right there. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I thought I said Southern. But, Jacob, how much surveillance is in Southern Torrance? Well, there's none. Okay, well, how much is there in Northern Torrance? Well, do you want the honest answer, or the exaggerated one? The honest answer, obviously. Well... My sensors can detect it. I need to go across over there. I'm very close right now. Tyler, evacuate the mission now. You gotta get out of there quickly. What, what do you mean? I just got here. Well, long story short, your brother completely screwed us. Why did you leave? Ah, forget about him. Well, point is, you gotta get out of there quickly. Well, is there any cops nearby? Uh, uh, looks like not that many. Well, then, am I still able to get the cure? Fine, but just make it out of there quickly. You got it. Hey, Kane. Whoa, what happened? Salvation. Here we come. Oh, thank God. Alright, well, put that USB in already and let's get this thing over with. Alright. Wait, where's everybody else? Well, Rim is downstairs forging the weapons as usual. Sounds reasonable. What about Jacob? Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, this could be it, dude. I mean, after years of sheltering, we finally are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. We, we freaking, like, after years of agony and suffering, we can finally live our normal lives. It's it's just like, I can't even put my mind into it. Like, we've been suffering for so damn long, and we finally are getting to know what it's like before this virus even existed. Before we even- Just put in the goddamn USB. Alright. Alright dude, I just got back from my break, I just... Alright, I just finished the vaccine. What? How? Well, if you look at the timer below, you can actually see that this film is taking longer than it should be, so I basically saved us some time. What? What? <laughs> Anyways, get the other two in here so I can give them this as well as us. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Well guys, we did it. We're finally vaccinated. So that means we can take off these masks? 
What masks? The masks that we've been wearing for a long time. These oh, masks. you're supposed to wear masks? Ah, oh my gosh. You know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother. How the hell have you survived all of this without a mask? I wore a mask here and there. When? Uh, good question. I can't recall. Well, I mean, should we even actually go outside without a mask on? I mean, we've been fine now this past day. I don't know if this vaccine will actually work. I mean, I'm fine. I'll do it. I'm not scared of death. Well, you hurt to try. Burgers for everyone. I, 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 I guess. <sighs> Let's go out with bang, guys. Leap of faith. Leap of faith. Leap of faith. Yeah, people faith. Let's do this. Let's do